is not surveillance. This is not as if the data was in transit and therefore accessed by the agencies. This is somebody whose phone has these messages. Those messages have been deleted and that's where I want to bring in Hitesh Jain as well. And then those messages are used to incriminate that person. But that is a form of self-incrimination and self-incrimination isn't allowed. Hitesh Jain, does that then make the case of the NCB rather weak and tenuous? We are jumping one step because first and foremost, what you are talking is material, not evidence. This material becomes evidence when it is proved in the court of law. So we should not confuse this material and evidence. Today, we are also confusing. Today, what has happened is only summons has been issued. We do not know whether she will be made an accused after that. And after she has been made an accused, what are the charges? We do not know. Prima facie, from what is happening is that there is some evidence of wrongdoing and it requires investigation. So we should leave it at that because what has happened today, you have Jayasa, you have that manager, whoever you are talking about. I'm sure they would have given their statement. We, we are there. Some material would have been there. So tomorrow what happens is basically they, she's confronted. We have to also, we are trying to jump and we are trying to get an idea of uh, American jurisprudence and this jurisprudence and surveillance and all. This is not a case of surveillance. This is a case under investigation where there is a, uh, there is a material that is available and on the basis of material, a person is going to be confronted. Tomorrow, you don't know whether there is going to be a statement. Uh, someone, if he is ultimately made an accused, what will be the statement of co-accused also? So ultimately, these are all material, even WhatsApp chats. In there have been umpteen cases where the WhatsApp chats have been considered as an evidence provided. No, but th there's a difference here, Hitesh. Yeah. In no, 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 one second, again. In, in just in intention to commit a crime is not the same thing as actually committing the crime. So in this um, WhatsApp message, she's saying hash not wheat, she's saying can you arrange for drugs, malhena, etc. But she can just turn up before the NCB and say, yes, I discussed this, but I didn't consume the drugs. And therefore, how does the NCB then go about proving if she just denies it? Well, NCB is an investigating agency. I'm sure they know how to do their job when they are doing at the stage of in investigation and when they confront. I, I agree with you, intention is not there. But ultimately, if they have the material to prove that an offense is committed, they will uh, file an FIR and uh, file the charge sheet in the matter. So I think we should not jump at this stage whether FIR is going, I, I mean, whether they are going to uh, uh, arraign her as an accused, whether they are going to, after arraign, they are going to arrest her, whether they are going to file charge sheet. These are all speculation. Karuna Nandi, Today, what's Deepika's uh, legal strategy most likely to be? To so you've got material? material? Yes, you've got the material most certainly to confront her. You can say, here are your messages, you're asking for mal, you're, you're saying hash not weed, you're setting up at Coco, you're going to reach so at 11.30. That prima facie That's prima facie material, material of wrongdoing, of wrongdoing says Hitesh Jain. What's Deepika's most likely legal strategy going to be? Karuna Nandi. I am not a soothsayer and I don't know what their lawyers are going to say. What I do want to say though is that Section 69 is not just about interception. It is also very much about decryption which is what the previous conversation missed, right? Uh, Section 69, therefore, um, is contrary to Article 23 and the right not to self-incriminate on the face of it. But as far as I know, no court has so far found on that particular issue, and they must. There is a petition, uh, I believe there's a petition before the Supreme Court right now, but so... One way to go is to say that, look, I don't, uh, what you have from Jaya Saha's phone, one, is hearsay. Because this is not direct evidence that is being deposed to by either party of the, to the conversation, whether it's Karishma or whether it's Deepika. So therefore, even if it's on the chat, it's merely hearsay evidence. Uh, that Deepika would, could say that she doesn't want to give her phone. Right, um, and that she has a right against self-incrimination, etc. They would then have to perhaps get a court order to do so. She could perhaps resist it by saying that, look, this is an invasion of my privacy, that they, I have a right to self-incrimination, and I want to join the constitutional challenge even in the Supreme Court to Section 69 and to say that I, I have a right 
to say whatever I wish. And you investigating agencies have to do your own job. Don't try and make me say things that are in any case inadmissible but, and then hope for a recovery, right? 